Hey everyone, Father Dean here. Fresh out of quarantine isolation, I had to spend a few days uh, isolating myself just due to possible exposure. Uh, the test came back negative, uh, thanks be to God. But it also gave me a few days to, to reflect, to look back on this entire pandemic experience that we've had, uh, to look forward to uh, the big day that's coming up uh, at the time of this filming. It's, uh, Christmas is just, uh, what, six days away, I think. And so I've had the opportunity to just uh, look back and, and to look forward and to really consider uh, everything uh, that has been happening uh, in our lives. One thing in particular that's been on my mind is sometimes things just don't go uh, as we plan them, right? I don't think anybody planned for this past year to be the way that it was uh, in various forms and various different ways. You know, some people uh, have been able to, to weather 2020 uh, better than others. Uh, but we've all had uh, unexpected bumps in the road. And so, yeah, it's been a difficult year. And looking back at all of this, there's really two things that, that come to mind. Uh, number one, uh, we need to persevere, persevere. We need to remain faithful. We need to keep our eyes, uh, our hearts, our minds on where they need to be, namely our Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, I'm I'm finishing a book called Canticle for Leibovitz. Uh, it's by Arthur Miller. Uh, excuse me, Walter Miller. Uh, Arthur Miller is the playwright. Walter Miller is the author of this book. And anyway, Canticle for Leibovitz by Walter Miller. It's a wonderful uh, science fiction post-apocalyptic tale uh, of a monk who's living in this world uh, several hundred years after. Uh, some sort of great disaster, it might be a, a nuclear disaster, something like that, that has vastly altered civilization. And he uncovers a great new archaeological find. Uh, but because of this, he is ostracized uh, for quite a while. And in fact, uh, at the time when he finds it, he's a novice, and he remains a novice for many years. Uh, because of what he has found and, and because of how the community starts to, to isolate and, and shun him because of some of the, the ideas that uh, he, he discovers. But one thing that is very poignant, and I don't want to give away uh, too much of the book, of course, is that he perseveres in the most dire of circumstances. He trusts in God's will for himself. Uh, he trusts that God is leading him to become a permanent member of this community. And uh, so he continues to persevere. And I think it's a great example in our own lives. When unexpected things happen, we need to trust and we need to persevere and to move forward and to keep our focus where it needs to be, especially this time of year. Uh, which brings me uh, to my second point of reflection that, that I had uh, during isolation, during quarantine, is that we need to be ready. Because ready or not, he will come. Uh, as we move closer and closer to the solemnity of the nativity, you know, it becomes very apparent that one way or the other, the Lord will come. He will come at Christmas. He will come at the end of time. And he will come for us personally. And so we need to be ready. We need to ask ourselves, have we lived lives of charity? Have we lived lives of love and mercy and forgiveness? If people look at us, do they see somebody that they can readily say is a Christian? Do they look at a person and say, that person follows Jesus Christ? We need to be ready in our actions, in our words. It needs to be obvious that we're Catholics, that we're Christians. It needs to be obvious that we love our Lord. And so no matter what's going on in the world, uh, as we get closer to Christmas, as we look forward to what we're all hoping is a wonderful, beautiful new year, 
know, we need to persevere. We need to keep our eyes, our hearts, our minds where they need to be, focused on Jesus Christ. And we need to prepare ourselves. We need to be ready. And this can be done not just when we go to church on Sundays, but in all parts of our lives, with our families, our friends, even in our hobbies. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that every other word needs to, to be about God, but everything we do should still be headed that direction. And so, my friends, as we move closer to the solemnity of the Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, also known as Christmas, uh, let us uh, keep our focus where it needs to be. Let us also continue to pray for one another, to prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord in the manger, and look forward to uh, what uh, we all hope to be a, a beautiful, wonderful new year. The Lord will be there with us. His presence remains with us. And that's the only thing that matters. Everything else, it's just extra stuff. Know of my continued prayers for you all. Please continue to, to pray for me. And I look forward to uh, seeing you all very soon. God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.